Hello, I'm Gary Briggs of Bloodline Bowfishing, and in this video, I'm going to be testing a 400 watt high pressure sodium. Uh, this has been by far the most requested light people want to see tested. I don't happen to have one, nor can I afford to buy every light that needs to be tested, but fortunately, there are still awesome human beings in this world, and in this instance, Jacob Heyer is that awesome human being. He actually took this light off of his boat and sent it to me so I could test it. Uh, if you guys don't know Jacob, he's got a awesome uh, Facebook page for bow fishing called Carp Cartel Bow Fishing. I suggest you check it out and like his page. So what we have here is obviously the housing. We've got a 400 watt digital ballast that's dimmable, 400 watt high pressure sodium bulb, and also a 400 watt metal halide bulb, and I will test both. And I'll keep in mind the standard has been set by the custom fits at 20 lux per watt, and that is the benchmark in which we're going to use to measure this uh, high pressure sodium. So we will test for efficiency as well as overall brightness. Uh, so thank you guys for checking out the video and let's wait for darkness and see how well okay, it does. Okay, first things first. The voltage is reading 119.4. That's 119.4. And we will use this number for our Ohm's Law. Okay, here's the test we've all been waiting for. 400 watt high pressure sodium, uh, courtesy of Jacob Heyer. And as always, we're on the jig, 60 inches to the lux meter. Got the camera. We have the amp meter and the temperature gauge. So I don't have a switch on this one, so let me pause the video and we'll get her fired up. Okay, she's on. And as we all know, these high pressure sodiums take a minute to warm up. So I will give it a full 10 minutes and we will take some readings. And it just keeps going up. Still warming up and we're at 2800 lux. The 400s are indeed very, very bright. Okay, I wanted to give them plenty of time to warm up. Uh, after about 20 or so minutes, we're at 325 X10. That's 3250 lux. 3250 lux. 400 watt HPS, 100% on the digital balance. Okay, the light's fully warmed up. We're pulling 3.89 amps. Let's do the math. Uh, 119.4, that's your voltage, times 3.89 equals. Light actually pulls 464 watts. So that's, we'll call it 464 straight up, so I don't forget. So, 3250 divided by 464 equals, we have an efficiency of 7 lux per watt. That's 7 lux per watt. That is not that good by LED standards. However, there is something to be said about the intensity of this light. It is incredible. After a generous warm-up period, we are getting 228X10, that's 2280 lux at 75% on the digital ballast. Okay, with the digital ballast on 75%, we're pulling 3.01 amps. So 119.4 times 3.01 equals 359.3, 359.3. So the light is actually pulling 359 watts at uh, 75%. So 2250 divided by 359 equals 6.26 uh, lux per watt, 6.26 lux per watt. So it's uh, slightly less efficient at uh, 75%. So let's try the 50%. Okay, at 50% on the digital ballast, we are at uh, 114X10, so that's 1140 lux, 1140 lux. With the digital ballast turned down to 50%, we're pulling somewhere between 1.88 and 1.89 uh, amps. So let's do the math. 119.4 volts times, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt, 1.88 amps equals 224 224 watts uh, 1140 1140 lux divided by 224 watts equals efficiency 
of around five. So my conclusion is that as you turn the digital ballast down, uh, the light becomes more inefficient. If you recall at 100%, we were somewhere around seven lux per watt of energy, and now we're at five. So for peak efficiency for this setup, um, you want it cranked all the way up. Okay, with the metal halide bulb installed and the digital ballast at 100%, we are getting uh, 2470 lux, 247x10. Uh, so not nearly as bright as the high pressure sodium, uh, but I found this to be interesting. I'm gonna switch the ballast from 100% to 50% and watch this thing uh, just drop. And now you're getting into uh, good 50 watt numbers. When you're in the 700s, I believe the, uh, the 50 watt custom fits is brighter than this. And I think I've illustrated my point. At 50% um, metal halide bulb in a 400 watt housing with a digital ballast is practically useless. You might as well be running just a decent uh, LED. Okay, uh, with the metal halide bulb at 100%, we're running at 3.97 amps. So let's do the math. 119.4 times 3.97 equals 474 and we're at 24700 I believe divided by 474 equals 5.21 uh, lux per watt so uh, not as efficient as the high pressure sodiums at the uh, 100% uh, on the digital ballast. So the light becomes much uh, worse in terms of efficiency with the um, metal halide bulbs. However, as you can see, it's still bright. Um, that tree is over 30 yards away and we're lighting up the whole damn thing. So uh, the light is still incredibly bright no matter what the efficiency is. Okay, we've got our data on the board here. Let's check it out. I'm trying to do this quick. This video is getting to be pretty long. So 400 watt HPS, 3,250 lux, 464 watts, that's seven lux per watt. Uh, 400 watt metal halide, 2,470 lux at 474 watts, that's 5.2 lux per watt. Um, as you can see here, we've shown that the custom fits is 20 lux per watt. That's incredibly efficient. And the LEDMO uh, $25 light is 10 lux per watt. So um, if we're just measuring light against light, obviously the 400 watt HPS is incredibly bright, much brighter than anything else. However, in terms of efficiency, um, two custom fits are 162 watts would be just as bright as a 400 watt HPS at 464 watts. So um, high pressure sodium simply cannot compete with LEDs in terms of efficiency. It's as simple as that. Well guys, there you have it. The numbers don't lie. Um, as we all knew already, the 400 watt high pressure sodium is incredibly bright. That being said, it's also rather inefficient compared to a quality LED. So if overall brightness is your uh, most important factor, then I would suggest getting 400 watt high pressure sodiums. If efficiency is the most important thing to you, I would suggest getting a quality LED. Uh, once again, I want to say thanks to Jacob Heyer. Absolutely amazing. You let me borrow that light, man. I can't say thank you enough. Uh, visit www.bloodlinebowfishing.com. Um, join the BAA. They protect our rights as bow fishermen. And as always, wear those personal flotation devices when you're on that water, guys. Thank you.